Hello everybody, Myth is playing here. Go back to another last day on Earth video. Now, in my re one of my recent videos, very recent videos, is fin I finally finished the ATV. Now you might be wondering, how was I able to do that in a short span of time, aka 3 years? Well, it was large in part due to this one event that we're going to participate in today, and that is this Bunker Bravo event now. The changes are mostly the same. Back then, the zombie's health was actually 75%. No, it's actually 50%. It was, it's still the same. I'm just... I forgot. The only thing that they changed is that the damage done by weapons are now only 25%. Back then, it used to range to like 75%. Basically saying that if the M4 was buffed 75% more, It'll be able to rival even a scar, but not like a scar. A bolt only. But like the scar still does so much damage. I mean the M4 does damage that could rival the scar. It was even stronger than the AK. So now today we're going to clear bunker Bravo. If I remember correctly, you don't even need to use these anti anti-rad and anti-radiation due to the radiation of Bunker Bravo being cut in half. As stated here, yeah, radiation contamination decreased by half, which is actually so big. So, take these two extra AKs then. So, why don't we get started, shall we? So, first of all, you might be wondering, why am I wearing Kevlar armor? This is the best armor in the game. Well, it's because I have too much, and I just wanted to use it and to show you why. I mean, if this was normal Bunker Bravo, I probably would wear this type of armor. <laughs> Considering how difficult this location is, so we're not going to enter this Bunker Bravo here. The underground location. So, as per se, there are a lot of things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing Bunker Bravo. Bravo, okay. When you're doing Bunker Bravo, and that is mostly the amount of guns that you're bringing and heal items type of armor you're bringing and most importantly these terminals now these terminals are really good like you should spend some time fixing a few of these terminals and notably the only terminals that i've fixed in my life are the patrol cancel and the disabling of the turrets now for me these two are like the best but the ventilation clearance is also pretty good well, and the opening locks. The opening locks is just basically for extra loot. This is for stopping those toxic spewers for, from exiting those ventilation shafts. And they tend to be annoying, but the patrol cans, the patrol is more annoying considering the type of enemies they have to fight. So now that, that was just a brief, like, if you want to fix terminals, you can either fix these two or these four in general. These four are like probably the best things you can do. This is just to remove the surface rad. And this is to remove those water from like the l lower down areas. So uh, let's, let's start with floor two now. So floor two isn't technically hard. It's actually pretty doable. Um, oh, floor two is actually pretty doable. Because it has the probably the easiest boss out of the three bosses of the three floors. Plus, you can probably you can wall trick the liquidator. Doomerus has a great video of this, and oh, well, how he just uses Glocks and melee weapons to clear Bunker Bravo, and it was kind of pretty good. So, but now we're gonna use some some guns because guns are alpha to what melee weapons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. First, actually, I don't know if this is a myth or is it true. You will, you need to use the anti-rad before you enter this. It's so funny. I don't understand, but I feel like that is how it works. But we're gonna do this without the anti-rad, so let's just do this. I'm gonna select these specific two: the activation of turrets and patrol cancel, then activate. So bunker Bravo technically is one of the hardest locations because. All the enemies that spawn in the different areas where they are like here they aren't gonna be the same the next time you do them so this is why you have to be alert and be careful with how you play the area out 
and I recommend that you always keep an eye on your health, your weapons durability, and the amount of healing items you have left in your healing slot. And probably, I don't even recommend you probably doing Bunker Bravo without an extra pocket, no matter what it is, because I feel like if you only had one gun and your gun breaks and the enemies are still coming after you, I feel like opening your inventory at that point is maybe suicide. So I really recommend that. Maybe do Bunker Bravo when you have the extra pocket. And look at that, your right zombie only has 75 HP. So you have to also be keep in mind these explosive zombies because they will one hit you no matter where you are. Plus these toxic darters are pretty powerful. You do 40 damage, so you have to be careful. And this is one of the uh, reasons why I want the what's called this like the the activation of turrets. Cause look at this. That's a heavy turret and it's deactivated. These are two other turrets. There's another heavy turret over there. Connection lost. And overall I feel like it's just it really just like you know cuts down the turrets so that they can attack you. Now those two enemies, Toxic Spear is probably the most dangerous type of enemy that you're probably gonna face here. And oh wow. So now the acid melters are the better ones who will spit at you, they'll spit red like red spit, they will do like 15% damage to your armor. So you have to keep in mind whenever they start spitting, so that you don't your armor doesn't get quickly obliterated. We'll do what I just did, I got stuck behind him. And just keep an eye on everything. That's how you need to do Bunker Bravo. You need to be a lot of points for killing toxic spewers. Like considering if this was normal bunker alpha and there were two toxic spewers there with literally 500 HP, that would have been absolutely hard. Now this right zombie just picks up his shield. Nope. I killed him. That's also pretty good. Bunker Bravo is also good for season XP. Let's put this Toxic Spewer and there's another Stormtrooper. Now, look at this. This is the patrol. You have to fight a fetid corpse, a juggernaut, and a ride zombie. Considering this was normal Bunker Bravo, that is a lot of enemies and a lot of weapons you need to use. Oh, that's a Toxic Darter. Scary. Use this wall. Like, use this wall trick. Looks like Darter can't hit you. I'm just gonna go through yeah. here. We're gonna hold this up to break. For the streamer. Yeah, there we go. Talk to Darter. Now we're gonna kill this Talk to Spewer. He's dead. And now we're almost there. We're already at the final area. And we've used only about like, I don't know, two guns? below two guns and that's actually pretty amazing to say the least are just gonna deal with these enemies it's pretty easy oh my goodness this that just really makes this game so easy you know i'm actually surprised I'm just gonna release all the chicken while this right zombie is still here and i'm gonna go to the boss fight here just gonna pull down the for you, the M4 doesn't really mess. And it makes the M4 really a viable option. Because in normal Bunker Bravo, the M4 usually, use, oh god, the M4 doesn't usually deal that much damage. Which is why a lot of people don't use it and ends up being a time loss in the after that leads after that goes. Oh. Don't want to punch into that. There we go. And there we go. I think we finished all the three quests. Nope. We need to pass. Pass? We need to pass one more floor then. We're good. <clears throat> now, floor three might be considered as one of the hardest floors in all of Bunker Bravo. Even maybe harder than floor four. But... I'd like to beg to differ, because floor 4 does have a lot, I feel like a lot more enemies. Floor 3 just has a harder boss. So, yeah, let's do this again. And, it's, and we won't use another anti-rad. 
We're just gonna do this without any other weapons, uh, showing how OP this gun is. I want. Now those slashers are also pretty deadly because they give you the bleeding effect. And the bleeding effect does 20 damage and that is pretty dangerous. That you really have to keep your eye on your HP if that does ever happen. Because one wrong misstep and you probably will die. As you can see here, I'm taking 20 damage. It's kind of unfair. But I'm actually there. Probably just have to even do this with just one set of armor, and it's pretty good. <clears throat> we continue on to this way. Oh my god. Wow. Right zombie and instantly a toxic spear. Pretty concerning. Plus, toxic spears heal in their own spit, so keep in mind that if they spit too much, they'll be out even with after. So be careful. Ooh. That was close. You can get into situations like that and that's the reason why you die. So you just have to be very careful. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sick. I have to cut out some parts of the video because it is either just me sneezing or coughing. And I'm very sorry. Let's just continue clearing this place. Let's kill those parasites and let's toxic starters. Let's kill this exploder. Let's get another M4. You betchy betchy bitch. Come on. Oh. Come no, on. It's a day. Oh. Good job. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. I had to do something really quickly. And now let's continue. Um, now this area is... It's this... The entire bane of my existence are the right zombies. Like these specific zombies are my number one arch nemesis in this game. Because they just pull up their shield and they can't be damaged. They're my you're the you're the okay, my guy has his shield up, no wonder he's slow. Now he's dead. Another cough. Wow. Exploder. Exploder, explode, mister. As in those parasites and we're good. Our oh, toxic spear is gonna come out of this vent right here, so we're gonna stand right here so he spits this way. I'm just gonna unload barrage your bullets. I'm gonna open this again. Stop this it spits, never mind. This one spits. Oh god. I don't wanna open this. Stasher, kill him. Heal up. Grab another M4. And we're gonna kill this toxic spear. Let them spit that way. Now here's another patrol room cancel. Look at that juggernaut. The only thing that really scares me is either the juggernaut or the fetid corpse. Because those specific enemies have 500 HP. Plus the juggernaut heals when he hits you. The fetid corpse does like his smoke attack. His farts. Oh. A lot of notifications. There go. I'm gonna open up this and this is going to be the boss the Dr. Dread he starts at 500 HP which means that both of the first two doors that usually open up when you damage him are open already so be careful with this because those three riot zombies are a big threat to you and you really have to be careful not to get stunned by Dr. Dread so Dr. Dread is basically a frenzy giant who can stun you. He does the same damage as a frenzy giant, if not more probably. He probably does do as much damage as a frenzy giant. So it is debatable on whether you want to kill his lackeys or you don't. Because I feel like it's way easier if you don't kill them. You just focus on Dr. Dread himself. And, and I just get hit by that. Wow, that was the smartest idea I've ever had. 
and I just get double stunned and I get stunned again. Oh, thank god, he didn't punch me. Oh. I got the right arm, he's just died. It's on your shield. This is why the right arm is such a threat. Here comes the toxic spear. Just side. Let the toxic spear come first. I want to take some uh, radiation damage. And yeah, we got the Dr. Jet now. We're gonna use the wall trick here. And he's still in the wow. Good job, Slasher. Hope you're happy. Okay, so we've finished the final third floor. Or the third floor. I don't know why I call it final. Th oh, I'm gonna die. Finished the third floor, and now we're gonna go to floor four. Of course, we're gonna finish this entire location. <laughs> we're here at the fourth floor. Oh my gosh, the lag. Why am I lagging? It's time to lower our face. So we're now at floor four, and um, you still have a few. You've got the damage my armor is only taking. This is only. A... If I did this properly, I would have probably not needed to. I would, my armor would have probably had less damage, but you know, sake of education. Now, on floor four, I might actually take this anti rad because floor four is kind of dangerous and because of the final boss. So now we're gonna do our two things activation of turn, say patrol cancel, and let's do this. Kind of a cheeky first enemy there. Could have been scared of you that corner and he exploded on this. And now let's equip our first AK here. First AK with plus 25 damage. Let's see how good this AK is. Use some more breaks. Now, as I keep saying, you just really need to keep an eye on your HP. That's really it, and the guns, your ability, and you should be fine. You can really have a big problem in Bunker Bravo. <laughs> and now we're finally gonna start using the AK. Let's do this. Oh my God, friends. <laughs> okay, it really shreds. Holy crap. 47 crit. That is crazy. That is actually pretty crazy. Holy crud. Crud zombie. You did. Double spear. You did. Acid monster. You did. Oh my goodness, this gun is so good. <laughs> You did. You did. You did. Bro. You did. Wow. And this event really makes this M AK so good. Oh. Oh. I'm dead. Okay. Let's equip another AK here. Oh, wow. I did 40 damage here. What the f. And. White zombie, screamer, face this way, toxic spewer, toxic daughter, kill him. Okay, now this is the final boss room. Now, this final boss actually has like a different mechanic to the two bosses, so I'll let the gameplay show here. And open up this computer terminal. Now we have to turn off this and this. And that area, we are on a fight, so you really have to kill this computer before. The thing there explodes because if that explodes, you're gonna kill you, no matter what happens. So, I'm guessing that it is an event. This this boss will be pretty easy. Now we're done with Bunker Bravo. See, it's pretty easy. Talk about only like two, four, six, eight, 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 eight M4s and two AKs. And I mean, it is fully modded, so you can debate that the event is still hard if you don't have normal weapons. But uh, if I'm technically speaking, if you have like a lot of M4, M4s, M16s, and I have almost all the common mods, not even like the purple red laser, right? I feel like this is still doable. Despite it being like somewhat hard, I feel like it's very doable. And you can still do it. So what I will do is I will, uh, I will go back up. Start out my inventory and 
let's check out the loot that we got okay so we're back here now and let's check out the loot that we got starting from floor two we got a four carbon composites that's kind of sad stick everything else leave the gun oil three pack three parts three batteries pretty pretty standard land mining three grenades that is actually pretty good let's leave the phone let's leave the gun oil take the gunpowder and the landmine now this is the three main important things here that you're probably gonna need to fix the let's call this fix the what is it again oh to fix the atv is the gas cylinder the batteries the cogs the steel plates the rubber the carbon fiber and the air filters now, you can, now these and the, and the engine parts but these three right here are these two or these three actually yeah carbon composite car battery and the gas cylinder are the three main important things that you're probably gonna get in bunker bravo considering the other things you can get in bunker alpha and in different places in different locations so this is why bunker bravo during this event is really really good and I really recommend that if you plan on doing Bunker Bravo, do it within these, the time zone of these events. Because it really does help and I can't say anything less other than you should do it whenever it comes up. If you're ready for it, do it. And uh, yeah, considering that that's all I have for today. <laughs> it's all about this event. I really appreciate you guys watching my video and... I hope to see you guys in my next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Comment down what type of LDOE video you want me to go. Maybe soon enough. Oh, connection lost. And maybe soon enough, if I ever do get the motivation to do it, I might make some tutorial videos on how to do things as a free-to-play. So, without further ado, this is Myth is playing. Shush. <laughs> Character wants to take a shower. This is Myth is playing, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Adiós.